Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing great. I am Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In today's video, we are going to learn the steps on how to set up security info from a sign in page for Microsoft Entra ID account. Security defaults is enabled by default on all newly created Microsoft Entra tenants. Security defaults requires all users to register for MFA within 14 days. However, users can postpone this registration. After 14 days, they will be forced to do the registration. However, this happens during interactive sign-ins. First, let's check the status of security defaults in our Microsoft Entra ID tenant. On overview page, click on properties. Under security defaults, we can see a green mark that indicate security defaults is currently enabled in our organization. Click on Manage Security Defaults link. We can confirm that our organization is currently using security defaults. Let me close it. Under Users, click on All Users. Click on Virat Kohli and let's reset this user's password. Click on Reset Password. Click on Reset Password button. Let's copy the temporary password. Perfect. Now, let's see how it looks like when Microsoft forces users to do the MFA registration. Open new in private window. Type myaccount.microsoft.com and hit enter key. Enter user's user principal name and click on next. Paste the user's temporary password and click on sign in. Again, paste the temporary password and let's set up a new password for this user account. You have to type your new password twice for confirmation. Click on Sign In. The password has been updated successfully. After successful authentication, you will see this prompt that asks you to provide more information for MFA registration. For 14 days, you will receive this prompt for MFA registration. You can postpone the registration for up to 14 days. After 14 days, user has to compulsory complete the MFA registration Otherwise, user will not be able to access his account. Since we are accessing this user account first time, we have the option to postpone the registration or we can start the MFA registration process. Let's see the steps to set up security info from a sign-in page to protect Microsoft Entra account. This is only an example of the process. Depending on your organization's requirement, your administrator might have set up different verification methods that you will need to set up during this process. Click Next to start the MFA registration process. In this example, we have to set up Microsoft Authenticator application. If you want to use an Authenticator app other than the Microsoft Authenticator app, select I want to use a different Authenticator app. In this example, we are going to set up Microsoft Authenticator application. If you haven't installed Microsoft Authenticator app, then select Download Now to download and install the Microsoft Authenticator app on your mobile device. Once you install the app on your mobile device, then select Next. Remain on the Set Up Your Account page while you set up the Microsoft Authenticator app on your mobile device. Open Microsoft Authenticator app on your mobile device. Select to allow notification if prompted. Select Add Account icon and then select Work or School Account. Return to the Set Up Your Account page on your computer and then select Next. The Scan the QR Code page appears in the web browser. Scan the provided code with the Microsoft Authenticator app QR Code Reader. This will connect the Microsoft Authenticator app with your account. If the QR Code Reader can't read the code, you can select the Can't Scan the QR image and manually enter the code and URL into the Microsoft Authenticator app. Now, select Next on the Scan the QR Code page. A notification is sent to the Microsoft Authenticator app on your mobile device to test your account. Enter this number in Microsoft Authenticator app to approve the notification. Once you approve the notification in the Microsoft Authenticator app, you will see the message Notification Approved. Select Next to continue. Your security info is updated to use the Microsoft Authenticator app by default to verify your identity when using two-step verification. Click Done to complete the process. 
the user will be redirected to my sign in page this microsoft entra user has successfully registered for multi factor authentication using the microsoft authenticator application the user can now use the microsoft authenticator app to perform mfa whenever needed go back to microsoft entra admin center let's close this page and click on refresh click on users click on the username for which you just set up the microsoft authenticator application click on authentication methods we can see the authentication method set for this user and system preferred multi factor authentication method click on three dots menu using this menu you can view details or delete the authentication method go back to my account to web page under security info click on update info under security info you can see the microsoft authenticator app is registered for this user account if you want to delete microsoft authenticator app then you just have to click on delete and then click on okay to delete authenticator app for this user account to change the preferred authentication method for this user account click on change from this drop down menu you can select the preferred authentication method let me cancel it so this is how microsoft entra id user account can register for multi factor authentication using microsoft authenticator application and that's it for today's video on how to set up security info from a sign in page for microsoft entra id account i hope you found this video useful and informative if you have any questions or need further clarification on any of the steps please leave a comment below Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Entra ID and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.